Alright, so what's up guys? I know it's been a minute since I last uploaded. The weather's been absolutely shit as of lately. But uh, it's finally cleared up a little bit and thought I'd go and try HD0 for the first time. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I've been posting a little sneak peek updates of it. Um, but yeah, you should definitely go follow me. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. Anyways, um, running the full HD01 watt module. It's a fat boy sticking out the frame by that much. But um, yeah, you might notice I'm running the Action 2 again. I like to keep the weight around 650 grams and the GoPro Mini isn't going to cut that. So yeah, overall impressions of HD0, it definitely, there is definitely a latency reduction. I noticed that. But for freestyle, um... It might surprise you, but I actually like DJI more for freestyle, like the Vista. And that is just because of that. As you can see, if I go over in this area, there's massive, massive breakup. Like, this is at one watt, by the way. But yeah, there's pros and cons, definitely. Like, I know with DJI, I wouldn't have broken up as bad right there. But yeah, you're trading off um, reduced latency for image quality and uh, a lot of image breakup. But there has been instances in previous packs where I've noticed a lot more confidence coming into dives. I'll see if I can get into one right here. Like power lift in these two balconies. Like, it's just easy. I don't, that's the best way to say it. Like with DJI, I was like, I'm just so close to that wall. And it's like nothing to me. I don't know with DJI, I'm a little bit more, I'd say, cautious doing that. But with HD Zero, I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, I'll send it right now. But I don't know. Like, it's hard to say if I want to switch to this for freestyle. But I think for racing and whoops, it definitely has its purpose. It's gonna break up really. Yeah, I'm blind right there. Like Jesus. Another thing too, it's kind of sketch flying right now because it just rains and crashing means I'll probably land in a ni nice fat puddle. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think it definitely has its purpose for whoops and racing, but for freestyle where you need like that penetration and you're not trying to, you don't need every single freaking second. Yeah, like right there, that was, that branch caught me off guard and I completely just flew under that with ease. I was able to adjust to it real quick. But, um, yeah, for like penetration and everything, I think, and the clarity, DJI is just better. And that's come to be expected. Like, I knew that before getting buying this, but I didn't think it would be this severe. But I like having beta flights full OSD for once. And after I land, I'll probably like discuss who's this for, what I more to do with it, but I just feel so limited on where I can fly with this. Like it's great until uh, the video starts getting really choppy, which I feel like all the analog pilots are probably laughing right now because uh, I'm just a spoiled DJI fanboy, but you know, no, I'm just kidding. Ooh. It could also be something that I'd have to just get used to, like seeing through all these uh, breakups, but I don't know. I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely, it's definitely not miles better than DJI for freestyle in my opinion.